Hi, I'm Murray Drew, and uh, about 10 years ago, my wife uh, had finally had enough. She'd asked me to go see a doctor before, but finally uh, she had an ultimatum and she said, uh, you know, get out of the house or, uh, or go see a doctor. And so I got out of the house because, you know, the pain of actually going to see a doctor and actually making that, talking to somebody about it, that was a big deal. So I went away and I lived in a crappy motel for a while. <laughs> and, uh, you know, about three days in, I thought, okay, this isn't working for me. Um, I don't want to lose my family over this. So I did finally go in to see a doctor and that began the process of uh, getting to the good space I'm at today. I'd uh, had about two years off uh, with uh, clinical depression, so I'd taken time off work. And after two years, I was starting to see, it doesn't seem like I'm ever going to go back. And, you know, like I love my job. And, you know, feeling the loss of that and not getting any better, it was finally kind of like I thought maybe I should just end it. And, you know, through my life, I've thought about this before, but this is kind of the first time I really got close to it. So. Went up to the top of the university bridge and looked over and, you know, it takes a lot of courage to jump off that and I fortunately didn't have the courage so uh, RUH, the hospital, is uh, very close and so I just walked over there and I did the second hardest thing I've done in my life. I went to the uh, intake at the emergency ward and I said that I was simply hurting myself and uh, they were very good and I uh, got to sit down and got uh, admitted to the hospital. Well, when I got back, I thought, okay, I'm out of the closet, um, so I stopped being afraid to tell my story, and in fact, I saw the opportunities to tell that story. So I talked to a lot of student groups, uh, graduate students, uh, undergrads, and I told them my story, but I'm always kind of amazed at the response I get from my students. It's, um, you know, like the emails I get after that, um, like I'll say, you know, 1.6% of the uh, U.S. students are considered suicide, and I'll get emails that say I was one of those 1.6%. And I, I think things are changing. I think the, the young guys that I teach are a lot more liberated now, so I think there's a lot of hope. You know, getting help uh, is not just for yourself; it's for the people around you. And I think that think about all the people who could benefit by you going and getting help for yourself. It's it's hard. We're not used to uh, wanting to show a little bit of weakness because of the way we were raised in the schoolyard, but it's uh, bite the bullet and try it.